Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. In Korea, there is a national meal cost support system for children from low-income families. When school meals are not available, this system enables such children to have meals outside of school through the use of a child meal card. Gyeonggi Province recently announced that it will improve this system so as to relieve children from the embarrassment of using the card. In Gyeonggi Province, the child meal card is known as a G-Dream card. The G-Dream card can be used at more than 10,000 affiliated locations in the province, of which 77% are convenience stores. With the improved G-Dream card system, Gyeonggi Province will not have to secure affiliated businesses. Instead, the card will be linked with BC card services. This will automatically include BC card affiliated businesses under G-Dream card coverage. The number of affiliated businesses will then increase to more than 120,000. This means that, from August, the G-Dream card can be used at all restaurants in the province. In addition to encompassing BC card affiliates, the G-Dream card will be redesigned to resemble check cards so as to make it more discreet. It will also be supported by a mobile app for easy balance checks. With the new coronavirus spreading worldwide and the number of confirmed cases in Korea increasing, Gyeonggi Province held an emergency response meeting and launched comprehensive field measures to proactively prevent the further spread of this contagion. This new coronavirus originates from Wuhan City in China. Symptoms include a fever and respiratory conditions such as coughing and difficulty breathing. Convened by Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung, this emergency response meeting was attended by related public and private specialists. Discussions focused on proactive measures to prevent the spread of the virus. Appointing five public and private specialists as inspectors, Governor Lee stated that Gyeonggi Province will fully utilize all available resources and disclose comprehensive field-based response measures. Gyeonggi Province will perform inspections of all Korean and foreign medical personnel who recently visited China, as well as those who had contact with them. It will also expand the designation of hospitals for screening and diagnosis. Gyeonggi Province will use 600 million Korean won of its disaster control fund to cover related response expenses, such as the purchase of hygiene equipment required in confirmed case areas. While nationwide efforts to control the spread of the new coronavirus are underway in Korea, there are opportunists who seek illicit profits by selling masks at unreasonably high prices or refusing to honor existing orders. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung ordered a strict crackdown on such mask hoarding with exposed perpetrators receiving warnings. Unprecedented public anxiety over possible contraction of the coronavirus is causing an explosive increase in demand for related hygiene equipment. Among other items, masks are fast becoming scarce with their prices soaring overnight. An increasing number of mask dealers are pursuing unreasonably high profits by increasing prices more than tenfold or cancelling existing orders. On January 30th, after returning from an emergency presidential meeting on coronavirus response measures, Governor Lee convened a meeting of local government heads and ordered a strict crackdown on mask profiteering. Mask 
어떤 도다, 도 차원에서 관련 법령에 따라 가지고 기초 조사를 좀할수 있는 것 같아요. 기초 조사를 좀 바로 시작하도록 하고. While asking the central government to take measures to eradicate profiteering in hygiene items, Governor Lee also requested an increased range in patient information disclosure. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police will inspect and monitor mask manufacturers and sellers in the province. A consumer report center will also be operated to protect consumers from hoarding and order cancellation by suppliers. On January 30th, Gyeonggi Province and the Gyeonggi Business and Science Accelerator, or GBSA, signed an agreement with eight biotech enterprises on technology transfer and research cooperation. According to this agreement, GBSA will transfer six technological items that it developed with provincial support to these biotech enterprises and cooperate with them in related product development. 공공 영역에서 일부 선행적인 투자를 해주는 것인데 앞으로 협력 관계를 잘 유지해서 좋은 성과 내시기 바랍니다. The biotech enterprises will undertake research planning, identification and consultations while exchanging technologies and information and jointly utilizing equipment and facilities. The Gyeonggi Province Institute of Health and Environment recently announced the completion of regional atmospheric microdust measurement station installations in the province. This three-year project undertaken by the institute includes two measurement stations installed in 2018 in the cities of Pochon and Pyeongtaek in northern and southern regions of the province respectively. The project also saw the installation of two more stations in the cities of Ichan and Gimpo in eastern and western regions respectively that became operational this month. These stations are capable of comprehensively analyzing microdust related data including local generation, influx from overseas, and meteorological conditions. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.